What's going on guys? Welcome back to the 2024 Auburn Open. We've got the round two back nine coverage coming to you from your boy Spanky Edwards and my man Dan Double N Turner. This event is sponsored by the Auburn Chain Zombies. You know, let's see if these guys can drop some scores on us. There's that leaderboard. Yeah, there it was. James Proctor, minus five. Currently sitting at six down, so still a ways off the lead, but like I said, people are making moves. People are chasing. I'm excited to see how this uh Yeah, a lot of shooters here. Out. Most of these guys, if you're a disc golf fan, these are household names, so exciting golf here, folks. Like I said, we've still got, we see Avi Gomez there at nine down with the minus two on the front nine. Right. 16-year-old Avi Gomez. Pretty impressive. Fun to see how he finishes up this back nine. Here's Raven on number 10, a 332. A fairly straightforward hyzer play, I would say. There is a path that plays up the left side as a um, out of bounds, path and beyond. But I don't think it comes into play too much unless you just kind of misfire and it comes out early, you know. I think Jake wanted that one to be a little bit higher. See here. I remember Matt Ace ran this last round, so you know he's thinking, like, I'm making this. Absolutely. This looks maybe, pretty good if it fades that tree. Oh. It's like a little bit of, maybe a little bit of a slip on the front of the tee pad there. Maybe. Seems it's kind of like a common miss, huh? We actually saw those drives come at Anton mm -hmm. on the, the last hole. All right. Is it Anton or Anton? Tell us in the comments. We'll find out. I think they call him Anton, but it reads Anton for sure. Um. Oh, wow, what would have been. Looked good there from about 50. Here's Raven also outside the circle for birdie, stepping it. Wow, delivered. Mark it Very too. Nice Very nice. Bell, well, everybody's just gonna be cleaning up their three so everybody's pretty much home. It's good to see some spectators out there. I don't know if these guys are already finished their rounds or what, but you know it's you know, you got some big guy big name guys coming through town playing your course, it's kinda cool to hang out and uh, see how they do it. Absolutely. You know. Level eleven. Downhill, par three, 257, Island Green. A uh, little OB behind, about 30, maybe 33 behind the basket as well. Yeah, I, I like what they did with this hole, honestly, because it, it plays as kind of like, a, oh, just like a downhill chip, 250. But when you turn into an island and you raise the basket up high like this, you know, yeah, things can happen. So you add, you know, you just add a little level of difficulty to it. Looks like our lead cards have a no problem dropping in the circle here, which doesn't come as much of a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Matt's the furthest away at 27 feet or not even, so. Yeah, dude. No, even though it's elevated, fair. I would expect to see a star frame here from our group. Just over the top, but we got it. We talked about this, Spanky. In the basket is good. In the basket is good. Josh, not one to waste much time ever. Good birdie. Not sure what the guys are talking about here. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I think Matt just knowing the course maybe better than these other guys. He's telling them where there's some other pins on the course on that hole. There is one down past the path, kind of like in you know, like a lightweight ravine. It is a cool hole, but um, I'm sticking with my guns. I think it's cool they turned this into an island and raised it up. Yeah, not everything needs to be buried in the woods. That's what we were saying about this course. What I like is that you have these open, you know, grassy fairway park shots, and then you go right into the deep 
woods of Northern California had hanging yeah. oaks and low ceilings. Right. No. And that's Super a great it's a great great mix for of course hole number 12 here 610 foot par four um last round we saw we saw quite a few rollers looks like we've seen the roller quite a bit already there's definitely um, that option to just play it at for the three where you can just throw the yeah an air shot's fine if you want to go for birdie i'm i'm thinking that these guys throwing rollers are like i can get make it two if i right. that's why they're throwing roller you know because if you told them they couldn't throw a roller, they'd probably still, you know, be buried in the hole with some pretty good regularity. Yeah. Let's see what Josh likes here. He's checking the wind. I think over the years we've seen him throw down some pretty good rollers. got caught up there by the base of that tree but i don't think it had quite enough steam to get up there but uh it kind of seems like the, the location yeah. of the fight for the three yeah. shot so see the one thing though about like the roller shot is like if you can up it's not like raven's shot like wasn't super super tough but like it's the it's the worst spot to be on the hole you know where josh is down here it's you know he's throwing putter mid-range right at the basket yeah, he actually um, gave that one a bit of a run mm -hmm. There is out of bounds left. Jake didn't really love that, but I think he should be close enough to clean it up. Here's Matt's roller. You can see he's only, you know, 120, 150, 160 feet or something away. So if he did pure the roller, he would be down there. Oh, maybe those kids may have gotten to his head a little bit. World class Raz there for sure. World class Raz. I mean, they got signs out of caution, disc golf tournament in the area, but uh, I know this is a pretty good local spot to fish. Uh, I've been here before. They're having fishing derbies in this lake, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just being a multi use park, it's cool to see kids out there, you know, just taking it in. It's a nice day. Probably play it on a Saturday. Yeah, I clearly rode their bikes and their scooters down here. Yeah, it's good to see the community just out in the park. <laughs> He's looking back at them. Jake's not as forgiving as me. <laughs> not so much. <laughs> just kidding. He's a really nice guy. Now it's the par four, 425. It really is a two-shot hole, even though it's only 425. So I, I think it's pretty neat they, they label it as a par four. Um, yeah, you just playing a placement shot off the tee. Yeah, seems like it. Matt throwing an overstable driver there, kind of a flex line, just wanting to get clean. Josh, I think this is super aggressive with the roller. It seems like it. Um, I don't think he loved it. It seemed to just hold left. It never really flipped up for him. I think, again, with him throwing that shot, it's like he's like, I think I can get down there for a look at a two. Oh, that's out of bounds. Yeah, Jake didn't leave himself much hope there. The whole right side along that creek is staked out of bounds. Right. And he oh. just threw it right at it, pretty much. I think Matt will probably go low here with a skip. Yeah. I didn't see that tree. That's an unfortunate roll there, too. Here's where Josh is rolling it up. So he still has a play for the three. Oh, Jake almost saved the par there. Matt's look, long look at birdie. Oop. Where does this hole come in? Do you know how many birdies were on this one? Yeah, um, because it seems like it does seem like a pretty tough two shot hole, you know. It looks like Andrew Marwe carded the eagle on it. Wow. I wonder if he threw a forehand up in there and maybe got a long putt or what. Um, but there were a four bit of birdies, a, a fair bit of birdies. Did you see that? 
Yeah. It was wow. all the way out the back and wow. then somehow grabbed and stayed in. Yeah. We had replay was sick. Okay, cleaned up his bogey. Raven with a par. <laughs> I think they're talking about Josh's play. I think so. All right, hole number 14 is a temp hole, 240. Wow. I think it plays as an island. You wow. see Josh, Josh landed in the hazard there, so he'll wow. play it from there with a penalty. Pretty basic shot though, Raven showing you how it done. There's a backstop, there's the fence there. Bass is kind of perched up near those rocks on that tree. You can see it. Ace run? Ooh. Nice map. Nice. Nice. Apparently you're supposed to say nice after the disc stops moving. <laughs> That's why I waited. That's a little surprising to see Josh hit, hit early. Yep. He just kind of pulled it right a little yeah. bit. He definitely would like to have that one back. Yeah. I think eight or nine out of time, ten times, he's, he's, he's throwing a great shot here. Jake, good birdie. He's only three back of Matt. Raven. Been having a really nice putting stroke this whole time. Just a little low on that one. Josh with the bogey takes him back down to 12 down. If Matt makes this, he'll have three on Josh, two on Raven. Diving back into the woods here, hole number 15. Super challenging par three, 395. Island on the crap this is a new pin for this basket since they cleared out a lot of the woods. Um, off the tee, these guys are throwing the forehand. You're just trying to get like, if you can get like 280 feet down the fairway, you're pretty happy, I'm pretty sure. It's so convoluted. Uh, yet again, yesterday and today, we had exactly zero birdies on this hole. Wow. Jake just found the out of bounds there by getting that early tree kick right. This looks good from Raven. It's just like, what else can I miss? Okay, he likes it. But he's, you know, he's still basically the good drive, a good drive you could have thrown and he's still well over 100 feet away, 200 feet away maybe. Similar from Josh. Yeah. He's down there, but, you know, what kind of look does he have? I don't know. No idea. Hard to tell from the tee, for sure. Yeah. I think it's great. Good. We saw that yesterday. If you kind of end up back here, you kind of just have to go over the top yeah. if you have the power to do it. It sounds like a thumber from Jake, I think. Here's Matt's approach. Got through a lot of it. Oh, yeah. um, I think he might have some kind of a putt from there. Josh's drive got down here, but there's just like a wall of trees that he just perfectly threaded. Yeah. Looking like a fairly routine three for him. But... Here's Raven's drive, super good. This is for a deuce. Oh, I'm sorry, I spoiled spoiler it, folks. Alert. Yeah, we my already bad. knew it wasn't in. Yeah, I'm the worst. Jake, there's oh, a putt. He's pumped about that for sure. That was, I mean, he only threw the three, the disc three times. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. In his defense, but with that OB stroke, he's a bogey. Here's Matt from about 37 for par. Wow. That's a three. That's a great putt. Yeah, I was kidding. Yeah, no. 
I think they're just talking about how hard this hole is. Is uh, these couple guys are tapping out their pars. So yeah, we got a hole 16, uh, par 4, 560. This dusk. Thank you. That was not great. Well, that seems to be a little, little early left. I think you want a little more turn on that one. Yeah, this is that hole. There's um, there's a creek in the middle of the fairway, about halfway down, and then after that, the whole left side's out of bounds. Raven going pretty aggressive. I think that one faded out short of the out of bounds, but he's gonna have a tricky look from there. I was curious if we were gonna see the roller from him. If this jumps the creek, I swear it'd be amazing. Oh, he got caught up in it. Yeah, maybe a better angle on it would have done it, but. It, se it seems ambitious to try to roll over the bridge. It's a pretty aggressive play. Wait, that's got to the... That's pretty. The play I was no, expecting to see from us was... Just flip something over there and try flip and get something. a left. Well, Matt's stuck on this left side. He might have to do a, like an Anheuser shot with the forehand. Yeah. That got shot. Oh, and out of bounds. Yeah, the left side staked it will be here. Yep. yep. Raven's drive. This looks like a good approach. Oh, very good approach. Thanks. You see he's really kind of a fairway driver, but the, the tall grass is around the green. It'll definitely catch your disc a little better here. Jake trying to find a way. Tough. I think he's circle two for a look, though. This is where Josh ended up in the creek. I think that did enough for him. Oh, look at that's just rolled over, laying on the edge. Right, there. so Matt's second shot went out of bounds. Yeah. Where is that basket? So this is for a four. He's probably 80 feet away, 90 feet away. Who's Jake for a three? Little stepper, not quite. Yeah, good bid. Anton wants this. This is the safest par. Nice putt. Nice putt. When you see him do it, it looks easy, but I mean, that was every beat at 38 feet. It's just her 40 feet, you know? Yeah. Matt with the unfortunate OB in the second shot takes the bogey. I think he's dropping at least a stroke to everybody here on the card. And the score is tighten. I like it. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Josh was able to save the par. Oh, Raven got the birdie. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, he got two on that there, so he ties him up, actually. And he's got the box with two to play here. This is close. Hole 17, 278 feet, left to right moving. The green is very fast, and then it falls off a, a little hillside 20 feet if you go past the basket. This is looking good, but he might be 40. It is it is a fun hole. It seems very uh, very runnable. Not not too much consequence other than just leaving yourself kind of you know maybe 40 to 50 feet away, but. It seems unlikely that you would skip all the way to an out of bounds or something. That's uh, what you're looking for. Absolutely. Anton got it in there, got it close, hit a tree, got rewarded. Jake with the backhand. I kind of like this play because there's like less of a risk as it going down the hill. But all of a sudden, he's left just outside the circle facing. Now he has the Now he's facing the Matt, did Matt throw a forehand here first round? 
I thought backhand's did. nice because it kind of just slides and hits the ground instead of, you know, skips. I don't know if he's... Okay, oh. so Jake ran it. I wasn't sure if he's going to lay that up or not. Um, here he is to go look. Like, where is it? Um, he's probably in the circle, but, you know, it's it's anything but routine from down there. Yeah, I think you maybe see him up against that tree down there. Mm -hmm. Here's Raven's birdie look, a little stepper. What a Mark putt. Mark at a two. <laughs> wow. Nice putt. Yeah, this is that comeback we were talking about where so if you're here off your drive, it's not so bad, but now coming back for the par. Nice putt, Jake. Yeah. Way to slap it in there. This is Matt's birdie putt. Nice putt. That's a good two. I, you can't see it, but I think there was a, a few things to, to navigate there. Yeah, they keep it tied up at the top. Mm -hmm. Here we are, final hole of the round. 18, 280 feet. It's an island hole, right, Spanky? It's a bit of an island. So left of the path is safe. Left and short of the path is safe. Right of the path and not in the circle is out of bounds. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of an island. Josh getting first available. Wow, he'd like to have that one back. Short of the path, he's safe. <laughs> he is safe. <laughs> he is not That's out true. of bounds. So I think they have the, other than hitting the first tree, the big mistake is pulling it right and not getting it into the circle in time. Here's Matt. Like, just like that. That was a really good shot and just kind of got punished there because hung out right a little bit. Jake going more straight at it. I kind of like this for this hole, just with the OB being there on the right. Yeah. Obviously, when he lands it within 12 feet, it's it's easy to like it, but I think the, like the play is nice. Here's Josh's second. Still got to make the island. Safe. Looks like he'll sneak over the par. Raven also left of the path. Safe. Just pitching up. He's like, get me off the course. I'll come back tomorrow and make more birdies. I don't need this one. <laughs> Now here's Bell for par. And, uh, you know, when you are when you go out of bounds like he did, you know, you get a 180-degree window wherever you want to take your meter. So he's just, he's thinking about where he wants to putt from. Do I want to shuttle here? Do I want to shuttle there? Do I want to shorten it up? Looks like he's found a spot that he likes. All within the rules, of course. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody kind of messing around with that many different lies. Yeah, it's like you can hear his thoughts, but you're just seeing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. He doesn't look too happy, but nice putt. Um, yeah, Matt's definitely disappointed with this round. After 12 down the first round, he, he's thinking, how did I only get three down this round? Very sure. But uh, Anton cleans up his par. He'll be two back of the leaders going to the final round. For the guys, let's take a look at our leaderboard here for after round two. Here's some. Oh, look at that. James Proctor shooting the 10 down. Yeah, Proctor bringing the heat. Wow. Yeah, Bell hanging in there at the top, but only shooting that three down. He's definitely going to want to look to improve on that in the final round. Hopefully, the weather holds up for them. Right. Yeah, come back and check us out for round three. We got Raven and Bell tied at the top. Josh Anton and the debut of Parker Welk. Yeah, new face for the final 2024 Auburn Open. Thanks, guys. We'll take your criticism in the comments. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.